you. June Carter Cash, country music royalty. She was a five-time Grammy Award-winning singer. She was a comedian, an actor, a performer, a mother, a steadfast partner to her husband, Johnny Cash. And now in the new documentary, June, she takes center stage again. Take a look. I don't think I've ever really known a life any different than show business. She's one of the most talented women in country music. June songs are good. This documentary is so good, and it gives us an all-access pass into her life with never-before-seen footage, as well as rare interviews with June herself. With more, I'm joined by Carleen Carter, June's daughter, and director Kristen Vario. What an honor to have both of you here with me this morning. I said to you, I loved this documentary. Kristen, I want to start with you because obviously the life of June Carter Cash, it was rich, it was full. Her career started as, you know, she was very young, singing with her mom and her siblings. Where do you even begin? when you decide to make this documentary? Yeah, I think we begin with the people that knew her and loved her. And that was where we really got a sense of who she was because she does live on through all of them and their voices and their stories. One of those people, Carlene, this yeah. is your mom. Yeah. What was it like to watch this documentary? <clears throat> well, I mean, it, it was it was beautiful. It was beautiful for, for me for on a lot of levels. But for the, the most rewarding part of it is that, that they actually Kristen and everybody involved got it got it right in, in showing how rich her life was before she became Mrs. Johnny Cash. You know, a lot of people just identified her as that partnership. And uh, she was a full-fledged uh, star at the yeah. age of six. I know, that must have been interesting <laughs> as her daughter, you know, like the world has, you know, identified her as the husband or the wife of Johnny Cash. And you're screaming at the at the clouds like, wait a second, she had this whole life. Yeah. We need to tell that story. One of those little tidbits that many people may not know. I'm going to play this and okay. then we're going to talk about it. Let's play this song, a little tidbit. You know this one. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames. Okay, so obviously iconic yeah. song, Ring of Fire. Yes. People will say, oh, Johnny Cash's song. But actually, your mom wrote this? My mom wrote it, yeah. And people don't know that, do they? No, and uh, I can remember when she was writing it. I was I was a little kid, uh, 60, I see, I was probably six or seven years old. I remember running through the house. Mom had a, a get together and she had finished it, the song up. And uh, my Aunt Nita, Anita Carter, had mm -hmm. recorded it, and John had heard it. And I knew, Mama said, everybody kept saying, it's gonna be a hit, it's gonna be a hit. Yeah. And I was running through the house, this little girl going, my mom has written a hit song. <laughs> what a memory. And you I remember those moments. Yeah. And you sort of had a front row seat to all these amazing stories. What was that like for you? I mean, I think I'm still pinching myself. Like. I can't believe the people that I've had. The, it, it's, it's June's world. We weren't like seeking out people that were just big names to put in the documentary. It was yeah. people who knew and loved her. And, mm. you know, they were the ones that were also eager to get this story out because those are the people who knew where she came from, who yeah. she was, and the kind of woman she was. Mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, it's it just happened to be Dolly Parton and Willie Nelson yeah. and the Carters and you know it was just on and on and I still I still can't really believe it. <laughs> I'm sure everybody just wanted to talk about your mom. Uh, one of the one of the parts of the film that I love as well is when she, you see that she's going to make new music at the age of 70 and you see her sit down to do that. What Kristen did that say to you about her character, her love of music, her love of performing? I mean, I think it said a lot about her drive and her ambition and her vision, I think, and she never let any of that go. And I think for me, that's just really inspiring. And I feel like I'm taking that into my mm -hmm. life with everybody. It's like everything is mm -hmm. a moment in time and you don't have to give anything up and you don't have to be done with your dreams at any point. She went out flaming, you know? She, yeah. she got everything she wanted at the end. And I love that thread that is really woven so beautifully throughout the whole documentary. Carleen, mm -hmm. when I was scroll scrolling through your Instagram, I came across a picture that I want to share with everybody if I okay. can. So here's the picture. Oh. And the caption says, oh, mama sure loves dressing me up. Bonnets for a constant discussion between her and my very small self. <laughs> when you look at this picture, yeah. what do you see? That was probably uh, one of the only arguments we ever had. <laughs> um, you know, there was, I wanted to wear my cowboy boots and be on the pony. Uh, Mom had liked to dress me up, and, uh, and, and bonnets were important. I don't know why, but she was a lady of hats, and um, 
Yeah. You're so, not alone. I was I was also dressed up yes, in, in all yeah. the hats. And then there were three girls, so we were all dressed the same. Yeah. People were like, oh, you went to private school when you were seven. I was like, nope, that's just how we dressed. <laughs> <laughs> in the documentary, we find out that Johnny Cash wrote a note toward the end of his life, which read this. I love June Carter. She is an angel. I'm not. Oh. How significant was that note? And is that note to you? That is very John. Mm -hmm. He would write her little notes like that. He would write notes to himself. Very small, but, but totally from his heart. And he was so lost without her. Mm. Um, he just kept saying to me when I went to, when I would go see him, he would, see, he would say, my sweet baby, my sweet baby, about mom. Aww. And he, he just missed her so badly. And... You know, it was not, su not surprising that he left the earth as fast as he did right after her because he he didn't he wanted to be where she was at. Aww, there's something poetic about that, isn't yes. there? Yes. It is an absolutely poetic film. It is beautifully done and all the voices on it are so great. Thank you both for being here. We Thank really you appreciate so it. much. Thank well, you very much. I want to let everybody know June premieres tomorrow on Paramount Plus. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.